Hi, my name is Jim Olson and this is an introduction to tangrams. Tangrams are seven geometric shapes. These were invented in China over 200 years ago. They are a children's puzzle, but they also have many nice mathematical properties. They can be used to teach many things such as area, fractions, composing and decomposing, Pythagorean theorem, visualization, and many more. What I'm going to show you today are two apps from Mathagon. The first one is their Tangram app, and the second one is Polypad, which has numerous manipulatives in it, and we're going to look at the Tangram in Polypad. So, we're going to be using my little database here. The first one is this link right here. And that's going to take us to Tangram Builder. And here we see our seven shapes. The way this one is set up is like the kind of the children's puzzle you're trying to make these shapes down here. You have basic, you have animals. Uh, I'm not getting animals to work here right now. Uh, let's see why not. Okay, now the animals has worked. And let's say we want to make the horse. It gives us the outline here and we have to put the seven shapes in here in order to make the horse. And you can rotate the piece. Um, and the parallelogram is pretty easy there. This is kind of interesting with this ear up here. I think in order to get that to work, we're going to need to put this piece here and the other small triangle here to make the rest of the face and so on. I'd like to show you some basic properties of the, Paul, of the uh, tangrams and I'm going to jump over to our second app here. This is the polypad and they have a number of manipulatives here but I'm going to come down to tangrams. And the way this one works is we can click and here's the small triangle and here's the other small triangle. The first fundamental of tangrams is that there are two small triangles. There's also a medium-sized triangle there is a, a square, there's a parallelogram, I'm going to put those in a little group, maybe you can anticipate why I'm putting those in a group, and then we have two big triangles. Everything is based on the two small triangles. For example, the two small triangles can be combined to make the medium-sized triangle. So here is the medium-sized triangle and it can be made using two of the small triangles. Let me get a couple more copies of the small triangles here. What else can I make out of the small triangles? I can also make the parallelogram. By the way, for the parallelogram, you can flip it using this down here, and those are uh, a little bit different. So I can put the small triangle there, and the small triangle here, and those make the parallelogram. So apparently, the parallelogram and the medium triangle have the same area. The same thing can be done with the square it can be made with two small triangles, and I'm gonna let you do that. Finally, what about the big triangle? The big triangle can be made up of two medium triangles. So let me get two medium triangles here. And I can put a medium triangle there, and a medium triangle down here. And we can see that the, meet, the large 
triangle can be made up of two medium triangles. And so maybe I'll end with the question, how many small triangles would it take to make the large triangle? I hope you have enjoyed this introduction to tangrams, and I hope you enjoy playing with them, either the physical or the virtual. Have a great day.